Okie dokie, so I got to thinking and I decided that it would be a good idea. Um, that's very loud. <laughs> I decided it would be a good idea if I work on this, getting this farm set up to be a workable farm. Um, oh, I understand why the slabs are here, but I cannot get in. Um, so let me just kill off these guys really quick. Okay. So I'm not going to, oh yeah, I can't get through there either. I made this really, um, fortified, didn't I? Anyways, uh, let me get s make some more torches. So I really want to make this into at least an XP grinder for right now. And, you know, a way to grind for resources, sure, but primarily an XP grinder because I think that's the most valuable right now. Um, so that's what I want to do. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to dig out this room, make it a lot bigger, and then go from there. And that shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. We shall see. So, uh, tally-ho. I mean, you know, this. I could definitely recycle this cobblestone, so there's that. So I guess that's a good thing. Anyways, I will do this, and I will be back with you guys momentarily. Alrighty, so here's my plan. Um, water... If I understand it right, and I'm pretty sure that I do, just black that off so I don't get pushed everywhere. This should go to right about there, and it shouldn't go over the edge. Okay. Now, here's another important test. Really? Why are you here? How dare you? Go away. No one likes you. <laughs> um, scared the crap out of me. So, now we're gonna do this. Could it be because... There. <laughs> That's probably why. Oh, it's night. Um, I should sleep. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Can I sleep inside of a dungeon? Well, we're about to find out. By George, I can actually sleep in a dungeon. That's interesting. Um, I need to fill up my bucket with another source black. Hi Zambi. Hi Creeper. Ooh, I one-shotted him. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I just need to fill up this bucket. I need to conduct a test. It's super important. And the only way that I will be able to conduct a test is if I have two buckets of water. Okay, so here is the test. Black one. How many blocks is this? That's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, so we need to dig out this wall right here. Ah, eh, that's no big deal. I'm just gonna dig this out because it's gonna bother me if I don't. How dare you? Oh, I see why, because darkness. Well then. Thought I disabled that, but uh, I guess I didn't. Fine, I see how it is. Hey. 
go away. I'm busy. I don't think anything can get in here now. This is going to push them really far to an area outside of the mountain completely that will be a kill chamber where everybody can come in, whack them really hard, and then get stuff. So, yeah. Four, five, six. I'm so confused. Oh, okay. Seven. Oh, that's perfect. All right. Well, I'm glad that it's not in like a um, really inconvenient spot. This actually works out really good. Okay, so, yeah, the kill chamber would be, like, right here, so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And they get pushed to about here, so. I need to mark this with something just so that, like, I can remember that's where they get pushed to. Do I have... Yeah, I do. I don't understand why I didn't go to my infinite water source to get water. I don't know what I was thinking. It's been a long day, so that could be it. Um... Hello! Hi, Geekord! So they get pushed to about there. They can't get back, which is what we want. And we want to put a block right there. And... No, I don't think a slab would be appropriate. Although here's the conundrum. Wait, I think I can make a hopper and that will fix the problem. Because I should have enough for a hopper. I don't know why I wouldn't. Um, so... Wait, you know what? Instead of just making another chest, let me do something intelligent. Because there's a whole bunch of um, empty chests that I put in here recently. Or I thought I did. Yeah, there's, there's one. What's this? Kapoof, kapoof, kapoof. There we go, there's a hopper. Okay chest. There. Okay. Do I have carpet? Good question. No. It appears like I don't. 
Is there any carpet in the community chest? Because that would be helpful, otherwise experience is going to get stuck. Well, maybe it won't, but... That won't work. I was hoping that maybe I could do a thing, but it's not going to work. Alternatively, it could go like this. And I know a baby zombie cannot get through there. And that will be ideal. Oh, wait. That's in the wrong spot. <laughs> so I can do both things and it will be fine. I'm just being dumb. And you should be able to hit them. I mean, the item sorting part of this definitely works well, so, you know, there's that. Uh, let's, let's be just slightly fancy about this. Because I think that is just so much cooler. Um, I'm not sure that I need the torch in there, but that's okay. I can go get that. No big deal. That's problematic, isn't it? Well, is it? No, it is. It's problematic. So, um, I think because we're far enough away, or we're close enough to it, because we'll be standing, like, right on that light block, I think we'd be close enough to collect the experience. I don't think that we really need to worry about that. Hmm. Wait, I don't need to do that. Why am I doing that? I don't know why I'm doing that. I don't know why I do anything. There's no reason for me to block that off. Ouch.
I also lit up the surrounding caves, by the way, so... Zombies should not be spawning anywhere for quite a uh, large radius, which is good. Now let's come over here. Can you hit me? No, but I can hit you. And I'm getting the experience. Oh wow, this is a really good spawner. Mostly. A slight flaw, but I don't really know how to fix that, so... Because if I remove this um, slab right here, or this um, trapdoor, the little guys will be able to um, get up on it. Unless... I do that, which is effectively the same thing, and I should still be able to hit the little guys when they show up. Okay, that is a fair amount of resources. So let me, um... patch that like that for right now. I will put a door on it. Let me just put away all of these excess blocks that are clogging my inventory. I don't need any of that at all. Don't need that or the, actually one of these. that there like that. That can go there. That can go there. Uh, we'll put that in the chest. Okay. Um, let's not run into fence posts. That would be a good idea. I do not have a door in this chest. That's shocking. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for a door. There's a door. I don't think you're too far from... the spawner? Maybe you are? I'm not really sure. Hmm. There could be a flaw here. Zombie... farm. Yeah, I, we might be a little bit far away. That could be problematic. Um, I didn't think about that at all when I was designing this. I mean, I suppose the kill chamber can go this way instead of this way, which is perfectly acceptable. Hmm. 
which would require me to redesign the whole thing, although that's not so bad. Um, I'm not sure if I feel like doing that tonight, but... Because it's really, really late at night. Um, I personally have no problem with running back and forth, but everybody else will, and rightfully so. So, um, we're going to call this a whip for right now. Uh, plunk that in there because I have no idea what else to do with it. So, um, that's that. So, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, then uh, feel free to subscribe, comment, and like if you want to see more. And in the next episode, we will definitely finish up the zombie farm and make it efficient. And, uh, um then I will find something else to do. I'm not really sure what my next goal should be, and maybe you guys can help me out with that in the comment section. Maybe you can suggest something to do. Uh, so anyways, um, thank you guys very much, and as always, I will see you guys next time.